I'm going to show you how to make a really cheap bite to eat that will take you 5 or 10 minutes and it will cost you about 5 or 6 dollars. I call it cowboy supper because for the simple fact that the cowboys in Western America you survive on baked beans and cheap sausages. So that's what it is, it's cowboy supper. It'll take you 5 or 6 minutes to cook and it will taste awesome. So here we go. First off I start off with a couple of diced cloves of garlic. I'm going to get myself a spatula out there. So you're going to put in a few tablespoons of extra light olive oil, whatever you can get your hands on. You just sweat the garlic. As I said, three or four big cloves of garlic. Just brown a little. Usually just brown the garlic for about a minute, even less than a minute. And then we got Spanish trees over here. You can pick up these in any Aldi store anywhere all over all over the world, wherever they have Aldi's, they have these chorizo sausages, they're really good. So they go in next. Just drop the heat down there a little bit. And a lot of fat and a lot of juice comes off these chorizos and it gives the baked beans really good flavour. Almost enhances the baked beans to the point where they taste almost like a gourmet meal. I never add the baked beans until I see the chorizos browning. Once you get a little bit of a, a crispy coating on the outside of them. On top of that, then I would always put a little bit of salt. Not much, because there's just plenty of flavour in the chorizo, and there's plenty of flavour in the garlic and the beans. Just a tablespoon of salt, maybe less. Some good pepper. And the smell already is beautiful. So over here with the baked beans, I got two tins of Heinz and then I got a, a tin of ham flavoured baked beans as well just to give it a little bit more flavour. And if you want, you can chop up some bacon, you can dice up some bacon or cut bacon into really thin strips and add bacon too to enhance the flavour. And here we go. This will serve about four or five people. It depends. I mean, you might have a couple of hungry pigs at the table who will demolish it between them. But uh, usually it will do a whole family. And what you do is you just work the chorizo into the beans. And you see the oil as well that's coming off the chorizo mixes in with the tomato sauce. And it creates a sauce all of its own then. And it's really good. Really cheap to make and it will fill you up, especially if you're on a budget and you're trying to economise instead of going out and spending a heap of money on rump steak or something like that, just go up and get this. Less than ten dollars, serve it with some garlic bread or something like that. I'll just turn the heat up a bit there again. And the smell off this is unbelievable. If you've ever had a pepperoni pizza before, the smell that comes off this is something similar to a pepperoni pizza with the baked bean scent as well. And if you can visualize like Billy the Kid and his, uh, and his uh, outlaws out in the, the prairies in uh, Arizona or wherever they were, New Mexico, with the, a pot of this over the fire while they're, you know, 
on the run from whatever law is chasing him. Cowboy supper. Any other, what, what do you want me to say now? That's just, just let it simmer. And you leave it simmer, what I do is I leave it simmer for about five minutes. And um, it's awesome. After about five minutes and you have everything blended in together. Off you serve it. Usually serve it in bowls with some garlic bread on the side or with just some a regular sliced pan. And it's really good. Anybody we serve this for when they come up to visit us has said great things about it. It'll cost you five or six bucks. Better than any cheap meal you get at McDonald's or better than any you know piece of five dollar steak you might get at the grocery store there. This is really good food. Really good quality chorizo. And that's cowboy supper. You can put the camera on me now for a second. We're gonna sit down to eat this in about five or ten minutes and we'll all be well fed stuffed after and you can cut and it's great to eat when you're camping and it's great to eat when you're camping when you're camping and you just want to keep things clean one pot you don't want to have frying pans going everywhere and burgers on the grill this is a really good thing to do take out an old pot with you when you go camping and uh, do it over a fire always goes down a treat